In this second video on ImageLine's Ogun, we are going to be taking a look at the master section, the random presets, and the XY modulation editor. Let's start with the master section, which should be, for the most part, pretty straightforward. Nonetheless, let's take a look at the controls in this section. First is the volume, which controls the level of the instrument's output. This level is after all processing within the instrument is complete. The course pitch shift will apply either a positive or negative pitch change in steps of semitones. The fine pitch control also applies pitch shifting to the output of the instrument. However, the pitch changes here are in steps of sense, thus finer pitch shifting. And that's pretty much all there is to the master section. Moving along, let's take a look at working with Ogun's unique patch preset system. As with most plugins, Ogun does have a preset system that allows you to save any patches that you have tweaked and saved, or any of the preloaded presets. However, unlike most plugins, Ogun does not allow you to select a specific preset. Instead, Ogun will pick a preset for you randomly. To do this, you can simply click on the Generate Random Preset button in the top right corner. Upon doing so, Ogun will change to a new preset, whichever one it chooses. I find this helps when you are looking to create a new project and the inspiration that may come from one of the random presets. It also allows you to get into action with Ogun without having to fuss with the parameters, or can be used as a starting point or palette that you can use to edit and create your own presets. These presets can be saved, and we'll take a look at doing so in video 3 of this series. Moving on, we're going to take a look at the XY Modulation Editor. The Modulation Editor is used in conjunction with various aspects of the instrument, which are assignable in the Envelope Editor which we'll take a look at in later videos. There are two ways to edit the modulation values. You can either click and drag the handle in the editor window, or you can use the X, Y controls to the right of the editing window. This allows you to edit either the X or Y axis independently of each other. You can also reset the editor by right clicking on the X and Y parameters and selecting Reset. Now let's give a quick example of how to assign the X and Y modulation controls to an area of Ogun. This, as mentioned, is done by using the envelope editor in the middle of the interface. For example, let's say I want to have the X value to modulate Ogun's volume. To do this, I'll select Volume from the Target menu. Then from the Articulator Part menu, I'll select Modulation X Mapping. Now the volume is mapped to the volume. Now from the editor, we can set up the envelope curve for the volume. We will go into working with the editor in more depth later on, but for now, we'll create a simple curve to demonstrate how to work with the X and Y modulation editors. I'll create a simple fade out curve by dragging the edit point to the lowest value. When I play a key, this will not produce a change in the volume, as because the modulation value for the X axis has not been altered yet. So now watch as I edit the X point. A vertical ruler will appear to show the current value of the volume. This value is used when a note is played. Of course, you can do the same with the Y axis point as well. Again, pick from the target menu an area you want to modulate. For example, here I'll assign the Y axis to the pitch. Then select Modulation Y Mapping from the Part menu. Now I'll create a basic linear pitch curve by dragging the last point in the editor to the highest value. And then when adjusting the Y position, you can hear the differences in pitch. A cool thing about the XY modulation mapping is I can assign the X modulation to more than one area. So for example, I can also assign the X mapping to pitch as well, in addition to mapping it to the volume as we did earlier. Then I'll create a basic linear pitch curve. 
So now when I increase the X modulation value, the pitch will increase while the volume decreases and vice versa. Next I want to assign a controller on my MIDI controller keyboard so I can automate this modulation effect. To do this, I will right click on the X modulation parameter and choose Link Controller. By default, the Link Controller function will be set to Auto Detect. So all I have to do is move my controller that I wish to use, and in my case, the modulation wheel, and Ogun will automatically set up the link. Now I can control the X modulation via my modulation wheel on the MIDI controller keyboard. As mentioned, the XY modulation editor makes significant use of the envelope editor, and again, we'll be taking a closer look at this editor in later videos. So in this video, we looked at the basics of the master section, the random preset function, and the XY modulation editor. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at the functions found in Ogun's option menu.